Good day class. So for today we are going to discuss yield management. So this would be the last topic we are going to discuss in this subject. Okay. So we have already been talking about yield management in our previous discussion. Okay. So events at our first year discussion sa revenue management. Now is good to talk yield management. Okay. So for today this would be our learning outcomes. To know the benefit of yield management in hotel industry. Second, to understand the strategies in implementing yield management to hotel industry. And also, we will be discussing the advantages and disadvantages of yield management. So, okay. So, in history, the yield management technique appeared less than 20 years ago when the American Airlines launched its ultimate super saver fares to compete with People Express na offer sila o mga low prices that includes mga overbooking, uh, mga dynamic pricing, which is very important innovation in the service industry, and also money ang ilahang gi-apply sa mga issue nga nag-arise tungkol sa gihimo sa People Express. And yield management, it spread to the other travel and transportation companies in the early of 1980s. Mone siya nga na-apply po ang practices, nag-start ang practices sa yield management in a hotel, specifically in Marriott Hotel. And applying the yield management in their system, it gives them an additional revenue for about 100 million per year. Okay? So, these are some of the definition of yield management. So, these are the variety of concepts and analytic tools that fall under the label of manage, uh, yield management. Um, this is the term used in many service industry to describe technique in allocating limited resources such as airplanes, sets of hotels, among a variety of customers such as business or pleasure travelers. But this technique is used by firms with extremely perishable goods or by firms with services that cannot be stored at all. So these concepts and tools are often called perishable assets, revenue management, or simply revenue management. Okay? So for the um, Yield management is a tool na siya nagigamit sa revenue management. Okay, so to understand more, let's simplify the definition. So, yield is your income less the expenses re resulting to profit margin or your yield. So, for example, if you're spending the same amount, bringing in more money on per customer basis, this would cause an increase in your yield. Since yield management relies so much in the interaction between the supply and demand. Okay, so before we're going to discuss the supply and demand and how yield management rely to those law, let us first understand Asa, ug ngano ang firm o practice man ang nga yield management. So first, it is expensive or impossible to store exist resource. Since, especially sa room, since perishable man ang mga rooms, so dilit na gina siya na yung mabaligya on the other night. So dapat maka-forecast good ang hotel na kanang certain nga night mabaligya na siya tanan or not necessarily nga mabaligya siya tanan but mo gain gid sila og profit anang a certain night so we cannot store tonight's room for use by tomorrow's night's customer the second one is commitments needed need to be made when future demand is uncertain so since uncertain man ang ang future demand so the hotels will decide kung magset aside ba sila og room para sa mga best business customers or ilaha ba na ihatag for those leisure traveler. Okay? Kay naa may gitawag ang firms or mga hotel nga protect. So ilaha na nga iprotect ang certain nga room kay ila na ihatag 
sa mga business customers since business customers will not matter if pila na siyang price sa room ang ilahalang makastay sila kay mostly mga good ilahang ihatag ang higher prices if limited na lang ang time like for example usa na lang ang ilahang available nga room so dili na nila ihatag sa discounted na price ilahang ihatag na siya for those business traveler nga needed kaayo na nga room for a limited time okay so commitment is needed to decide if kana nga room is i-protect na nila for a certain business, for a certain customers, o ila haba na i-offer for a low price for those leisure traveler. And then the third one is the firm can discriminate among customer segment and each segment has different demand curves. So, na siya mga restrictions. You, the hotel or the firm will, will purchase restrictions and refundability requirements that would help them to segment the market between leisure and business traveler. Okay, so in yield management, bang God, um, the customers are being segmented na already. Okay, so muna siya. So, muna siya sa ka-reason nga nung mugamit or mupractice ang firms o yield management. And then the fourth one, the same unit of capacity can be used to deliver many different products and services. Okay, so same malang siya. So rooms are essentially the same whether um, it is used by business or leisure traveler. And then the last one, producers are profit-oriented and broad freedom of action. So in the hotel industry, uh, with holdings from holdings of room from current customers for future profit is not legally or morally irresponsible. Okay, so mo na siya. So, through the use of, through the practice of yield management, makita agad sa firms if they're going to hold a specific room for a specific customers. Good. And then, din ipod na siya illegal since part mo na sa ilahang strategy or technique to gain more revenue or profit sa ilahang firm. And how does this apply to hotels industry? Or how, how does yield management work? Okay, since I have mentioned already that yield management is based purely on demand and supply, and it is also driven by high and technology tools, so the interpretation, judgment, and experience of the managers are used to make the final decision. So now... We're going to understand more and let us first discuss what is law of demand. Okay, so demand in decreases as cost increases. Okay, so the higher the price of an item, the less people will demand it. Therefore, the least, the less quality is needed. So you're going to think of a private jet. So, dilita ng tao ang mupalit o private jet since mahal man siya. And the price is higher. However, if the price is lower, people can buy the item without breaking the bank. So, think of a cupcake. So, as a consumer, as consumer demand increases, the higher quality is needed. Okay? So, muna siya ang law of demand. So, if mahal ang product, so gamay na po ang demand. If Barato na ang product, so taas po ang demand. Okay? Now, let's proceed to the law of supply. So, this law shows the seller, how, how seller respond to price. So, supply increases as price increases. When an item sells at a low price, sellers aren't motivated to sell a lot of those items. So, quality, quantity stay low. If the price of an item is high, and people are in the mood of buying that items, so sellers want to supply that item to earn more money, so they produce higher quantities. A great example for this one is the smartphone. During their initial production, quality of a product or the quantity of the smartphones are limited because sellers didn't know how the market would respond to the price. So, if nakita nila sa market nga, daghan ang ni-support sa product, daghan ang ni-palit sa product, so i-increase nila ang ilahang quantity. Okay? So, mauna siya ang law of supply. So, let's apply this for the customers. So, for customers, when goods is 
getting expensive, so demand drops. But for sellers, when goods sell at a high price, supply rises. You can see then that the relationship between price and quantity is opposite. Okay? So, ang ilang relationship is opposite good for customers and seller. And this point here, where the two graphs intersect, is rich when supply and demand are equally matched. So, this is when an economy where we call equilibrium. When this happens, everything is operating, operating at a maximum efficiency because there are customers for all goods and goods for all customers. Now, let's see what happens to supply and demand to real world and how they interact with each other. Okay, so here, you have a room for sale. And you want customers to fill in those rooms, so you've got to find the price point that is demand and strong, but not so strong that supplies suffers. Actually, it is a total balancing act to stay at close as an equilibrium as possible. So this is the area you want to stay in. We'll call it the maximum revenue zone. Why it is important to stay in this zone? Let's see what happens when supply and demand go out of whack. If you, if you set your prices too low, you'll have excess demand. Remember that when customers are lined up wanting what you have to offer but running low on inventory. Think of Thanksgiving. Have you ever out shopping on Black Friday? If so, then you know exactly what I've been talking about. Not to mention, you're killing your profit margin when your prices are too low. Too low. Okay? So, if your... The, the cost of your profit margin to be low is that taghan kaayo ang demand, yet wala na kay income or wala na profit margin. Since, tungod sa kataas sa imuhang demand, mag-cost man po siya o daghan nga cost or daghan nga mga o oh, mag-cost siya, mag siya taas nga cost and wala na mahibilin nga for inventory. On the flip side, you set your prices too high. You'll, de you'll definitely have but your customers are nowhere to be found. So it's kind of like in a movies when you're spending a 50 pesos on popcorn and, and a drink. So when you're not in balance, you're either overcharging or undercharging. So your ability to vary your prices plays a very powerful role in managing your business supply and demand. So this is yield manage management. Okay, so yield management it is being in the zone of supply and demand and you want to get the highest price per customer you can while still keeping a high number of customers. It's complete business efficiency. But here's where it goes tricky because business are constantly moving in and out of the zone. In response to market change in supply and demand, so even though mabalance ni mo, na, naakay enough na number of customers for a certain number of product, but still, through the changes in the market, in response to supply and demand, naagya po na siya yung mga challenges na mahitabo. Like, you're managing your yield management strategy. It could automatically affect in the market. Factors, changes such as industry trend. Um, local demand, competition, uh, weather, time of year, short notice booking, okay? So business owners who have used yield management effectively has been surprised to find offering discounts for certain things like booking reservation during the off-season or well in advance or charging more during peak season or short notice booking allowed them to keep their standard rate the same but still increase profit and bring in new customer. That's why business use system to embed yield management in this in their system. Okay, so even if na siya nga mga market trends, still 
still the hotel were earned more profit na by the use of yield management through mag-add sila og mga additional charges like for example advance booking so mga silang mga charges ana like for example through the advance booking makancel ang ang reservation for na siya deposit so dili naman to mabalik so earnings gihapon to siya sa hotel di ba okay so through the revenue management um even if na mga changes sa market sa market still the hotel will earn gihapon. Okay? So, mabalik na gihapon sa zone, which is doon lang gihapon siya sa equilibrium. So, it still keeps the zone. So, in this dynamic marketplace, if you set your price and leave it, you're missing out of a revenue opportunity. So, basically, um, yield management is controlling the inventory, helping selling the rooms at the right time to the right customer and just in the right price. Okay, so maogid na siya ang importance sa revenue management. It controls the inventory through ma-identify kung kado sa ibalik ya ang room um, sa sakto nga customers through inventory control o sa sakto nga price. Okay, so mo na to siya discuss to siya sa first na to nga slide, katong where and why nga no mo invest naman yun ang firm sa yield management because ma-identify nila kung kano sa sila mo control ang nga specific na room which is called a protection level. Uh, ma-identify nila kung kano sa i-protect ang kanang nga room para mabaligyan nila sa sakto nga traveler, sa sakto nga customer. And at the same time, through protection level, maka-earn sila ang tatakong nga profit. Okay? Now, let us proceed to the advantages and disadvantages of yield management. So, this is one of the key pricing strategy for the hotel industry. Nag-involve ni siya ang mga strategic control, mga inventory control through dynamic prices. And one of the advantages of yield management it is it increased revenue. Basically, mamang kinang gusto sa hotel industry or sa firms. Diba? May increase lang ilahang revenue. So, through the help of yield management, um, it, it helps them identify good through inventory control. And yield management, they involved na, na siya over the years through sa machine learning, mga advanced analytics, and even changing the way people think about hospitality. Since the main concern of the hoteliers is our revenue man good. So it is very important to note that the main advantage of yield management is it allows hotel to increase revenue even if the hotel is not 100% occupancy. Pareha ito akong kidiscuss sa occupancy percentage. Ngayon, identify yun din nyo dito nga, di ba, even if 90% ang occupancy rate niya, but gamay ang profit niya nga na-earn. So ang nidaog bayaan to kaya ang 50% ng occupancy. Kay less man ang cost niya na incurred. Diba? So, muna siya ang usa sa mga tabang or important sa yield management. And also, um, revenue manager and hotel owners will take advantage of the demand forecast, maximizing the average revenue per available room per night. And since cost do not fluctuate in the same way as demand, hotel can raise the price of the room during peak season and sell the same number of room at a higher price Hence, maximizing revenue. Okay? So, all these factors can be reduced to supply and demand. With higher demand, people are willing to pay higher prices. In fact, studies have shown that hotels using this type of revenue management system have noted improvement in average daily rate, occupancy, and specified shoulder night per room. Okay? The second one is understand booking patterns. So, not all customers are built the same. Some book on short notice and other book months in advance. If hoteliers have a clear understanding of booking patterns, so with this type of management system, they can adapt the price says to booking behavior. For example, you can penalize the last minute book bookers with high prices and exchange and in exchange, set lower prices for those booking well in advance. And be sure to cover fixed costs. So, hotel already offer discounted prices in low season and higher prices during high season. Okay, so muna yung ilahan ko, Anne. So, yes, makita naman nila ang mga booking patterns. 
So, one of the techniques nga ilahang i-apply, one of the advantages of yield management is makita nila dito nga kanang, okay, peak season. So, pwede ka mag-offer din yung taas na price. Kay, kay ba mag-din sila ang taas ang demand. So, kung low ang season, so, diha sila maghatag ng mga discounts. Okay? So, even if maghatag sila ang discount, but still, makover up na, na, na siya during the peak seasons. Okay? The demand is high, man. So, they can offer higher prices na. Okay? The third one is increase your value perception. So, again, value perception, it is what consumers think the product is worth to them. And in essence, they are willing to pay more for scarce good. So, this same concept applies to hotel industry. Consumers are willing to pay more during peak season because the purchase value is greater. So, taas man ang ilang perception, taas man ang expectation during the peak seasons. So, they are willing to buy more. They are willing to spend more even if ka na nga certain na product or even ang rate sa hotel, sa room sa hotel is taas. Okay, since taas man ang ilang value perception, even labi na o maayo na kaayo na nga hotel o taas na kaayo ang uh, maayo kaayo ang feedback na nga certain na hotel. The fourth one is eliminating pricing error, error. So, through the use of yield management, it helps eliminate errors. Since it's already been in the program that na naman siya ay mga uh, specific nga prices nga gipili based po siya sa demand forecasting. So, ma-eliminate good ang pricing errors. Okay? It allows hotel to bring the management in the future by automating processes through the technology. Okay? Through the clear set of data from the software, so it could help choose, yield management help choose the best room rates for the time period based on the data inputs in the system. And then the last one is effectively segment your customer. So through the help of yield management, uh, market segmentation helps firms or hotels identify kung kisa to ilang mga target market. Okay? Since it's already been in the system na segmented na ang mga customers, so it helps them identify good kung kinsa ang ilahang hatagan o taas-taas nga price, kung kinsa ang hatagan o ubos-ubos nga price or discounts. Okay? And then now let's proceed to the disadvantages of yield management. So, we already been looked to the advantages of yield management. Now, let's look at the disadvantages of the revenue management system or the yield management. So, one of the disadvantages is that since the decisions are driven by numbers and forecasts, so wala is a preferential treatment for the regular customers. Okay? Another disadvantage is that if the system doesn't forecast well, then it won't help maximize revenue because there's no way to predict unexpected events such as pandemic, mga natural disasters, magina siya usa sa mga disadvantage. Okay? So more specifically, this is the one of the disadvantage of yield management. Uh, regular customers receive no preferential treatment. Since prices are based on predictions of booking trends, so one of the disadvantages of yield management is that it doesn't take into consideration different prices for different people. For example, if a hotel has a regular customer, so they may be paying the same as someone who booked at the right time for the right price, and therefore you, you run the risk of penalizing the regulars with indifferential prices. Okay? So, magkina siya yung mahitabo. Since nag-base malang ka sa system, so, di gini mo makonsider nga, okay, regular na siya, balik-balik lang na siya, so, tagaan nato siya discount or tagaan baka ka nato siya complementary. Okay? So, mo na siya yung mahitabo, di li ma-identify sa system. The second one, doesn't take into consideration customer expectation because uh, yield management is based on supply and demand, so guests will pay higher prices during peak season. However, 
those gas paying prices through the roof will consider everything in terms of how much the room cost them. If there is an element of the guest experience that fails, it puts the hotel at risk for bad reviews. Okay, so if the level of service doesn't meet the high expectation, so the possibility for not forecasting well. Okay, so mo na siya mahitabo good. So kung dili good ma ma kay since na system n siya, if dili good siya maka maka identify kung unsa ang mga expectations sa customers. So if dili mamit ang expectations sa customers, then a negative feedback will happen and it would danger the hotel. Last one is possibility for not forecasting well. So in order to properly forecast, a hotel must gather data. And after gathering data, they're going to organize it and coordinate with those in charge in order to implement it into a pricing system. However, dili magid 100% ang forecast. Okay, dili 100% accurate ang forecast. Since there are great numbers of factors na maka-influence sa demand. And one of the disadvantages is that the revenue forecast might might not hold up well against the actual market trend and thereby ma-jeopardize din siya. Ma-jeopardize din ang revenue. Okay? So, the conclusion would be that the advantages of yield management is far outweigh the disadvantages. Okay? So, mas higher kung gihapon ng advantages bisan o na siya mga disadvantages. Of course, um, it is not a perfect system because when you rely on machines and forecasting, there is room for error. So, hotel, as far as we can tell, can't yet predict the future. But with the right tool, it's definitely getting easier. So, by implementing yield management technique, hotel can see revenue increased with their little investment. Furthermore, uh, the pricing strategy, it helps to better reach different segments of the market. Um, achieving the highest price, guests are willing to pay according to their booking preferences. So this allows hoteliers to focus on the profitable bookings instead of those that just cover costs. Therefore, an effective yield management strategy can help hotels maintain a steady revenue stream throughout the year. Okay, so mana siya. So that's the importance of yield management. So again. Para di mo maglibog, so ang yield management is a tool lang na siya sa revenue management that helps control the inventory. Okay? So, it helps identify kung ano nga specific na night, i-protect ba na nila nga room for a specific na customer. Okay? And yield management relies on the supply and the demand. Okay, so dapat good ang yield management is na alang na siya sa center, na near lang na siya sa equilibrium. Um, na alang siya y balance between the number of rooms and the number of product nga gi offer. And also, um, yield management, um, again, it controls the inventory, which helps selling the rooms. Sa sakto nga tao, sa sakto nga oras, sa sakto nga customer, and then the right price. Okay? So, mawala na siya ang, ang yield management. Okay. So, again, this would be the last topic for our discussion. And I want to thank everyone for being hardworking and responsible student despite of the pandemic that we are facing today. I know malisod ka ayo ang dili face to face nga klase, but still na human gud nato ang kaninga subject. Even if more on recordings lang sta, but still as a student, you know your responsibility. So kay ba mo nga student mo, so naagi may mga responsibility and still bisan og lisod ka ni cope up gihapon mo. So ayo mo pa give up do na amo sa inyo hang difficult nga situations ayaw ninyo i-take advantage na but yet i-take na siya dinyo in a positive way okay so kay though there are some students nga maingon nga wala sila na learn sa ing ani nga setup karon but actually chal uh, layo lang ni sa actual gyud ninyo nga paghimuon okay in a real world task gyud 
layo ra ka ayo ni ang inyo hang na experience karon especially if manarbaho na mo magka experience na mo ito pinakalisod nga time na gyud ang mag give up okay so ayo ni ang hang na aga karon na time ni so tungod sa pandemic fight fight lang ki hapon para sa inyo hang inyo hang dreams and 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 in and the end you will be rewarded according ni man sa Okay, so thank you everyone for your hard working. Thank you everyone for being a responsible student. And I, I am praying for everyone's safety. Okay, so God bless and thank you everyone.